Isn't it wonderful to see an eagle in flight? I love to watch the eagles. You know, eagles are a type of, of bird that do not flock together. They're not like geese, they're not like ducks, they're not like chickens. Uh, they are uh, loners, if you will. And it is the time and the season, saith the Lord, that I am calling forth my prophetic voice. And the eagles in the Bible are uh, the prophetic. And he is God is calling his eagles forth. He is saying, this is what I want you to say in the earth. This is what I want you, this is where I want you to go. You know, and the eagles make their nest on high. They make their nest uh, close to the, at the, the cliffs of the rock. You know, and we are in Jesus, our rock. And the eagles begin to mount up. You know, in the book of Job, th uh, chapter 39, uh, Job is saying, you know, uh, do you, uh, he's asking God all these questions. And he says uh, in uh, verse um, uh, 27, does the eagle soar at your command? and build his nest on high? And the answer to that question is yes. They fly at God's command. And the prophetic voice rises up on God's command. And when we are told to speak, we speak. And we speak with power and we speak with authority into the earth. And then God hastens to perform his word. You know, I, as I see an eagle in flight, uh, I just say, you know, thank you, Lord, uh, that your prophetic voice is soaring all over the earth and bringing forth your will in the earth. You know, the, the saying that God gave me for 2011 was bring forth heaven in 2011. And how do you think that that's going to happen? It's going to happen when the prophetic voice rises up like the eagle and begins to soar and begins to speak out uh, what God has said and the earth will begin to prosper and the earth will begin to bring forth fruit. You know, the eagle eats live things. It goes down and it picks up its prey and it carries it back to its nest sometimes. And the eagle is uh, stirring up uh, its nest right now. You know, there are young prophetic voices that are coming forth and the eagles are stirring up that nest and sending forth those little eaglets uh, out into the, into the currents, into the, uh, into the air. And, and I do believe that it is time, you know, in Matthew 24, uh, we, sometimes we call that the end time uh, chapter. The eagles gather where the carcass is. And the carcass, of course, represents the body of Christ. And so the eagles begin to watch over the body. That's one of its primary responsibilities uh, of prophets and, and, and prophecies. Uh, the prophetic voice watches over the body of Christ. Uh, they speak over the body. Uh, they bring, they do warfare uh, for the body. And so in Matthew 24, it says that God is calling those eagles together around the body of Christ because he wants that, uh, the, the, the Christ man to come up in you. He wants that, uh, that abundance to come. Uh, to his believers and his, his called out ones, uh, the church, the body of Christ. So as you see an eagle, I want you to remember this message that God is call, calling those eagles to mount up. And right now, every prophetic intercessor uh, that I am speaking to today that's viewing this video, I call you forth to mount up with wings as eagles. Thank you for viewing.